So in this video, now we'll try to learn how to install MongoDB in our local system. So first step to install that MongoDB, what we need to go, we need to just go and down search that MongoDB download. Then we'll get that first community to click on this. So now we can see that MongoDB community server will commit here. And then we need to scroll it down. Here it's showing that current version. There are all those versions are there, but current version will go with that latest one. Then I'm going to download for Windows, Mac and everything they point it out, but we're going to download for Windows and package as MSI. And we'll click on that download link. Then it will get started at downloading. Okay. So uh, once it will get downloaded, so I have already one downloaded version. So once it get downloaded, if you click on this, it will show you that preparing and then it will start like this installation welcome screen will come. If you put that next, we need to accept it. Then need to put that next and we need to select that complete. If you can see here complete and custom. So we're going to do that complete. And right now we're going to install as it is. There will be no changes. We don't need anything local or domain. We'll install for network service user. And this is that file where a path where it's going to install. So now we'll do that next. And we're installing MongoDB Compass as well that we can use later. So now I will click on that install. So it's going to take some time. Okay. And it will ask for you to allow that. So you need to say yes, it, if it's asking for permission. So when it's going to download, it will take some time to complete that setup. Okay. So meanwhile, I will again explain you. You need to go to here, download that MongoDB download first one, community server, and then here we need to select. We can download that different version as well if we wanted to go for older one, but I'm downloading that latest one. Okay. We can do with that zip as well, but it's better we can go with MSI so that it will be easy to do that download. Okay, and uh, it will take few minutes to complete this uh, installation process. Okay, so meanwhile, if it's complete that installation process, few things we need to understand. So you need to go and search on your search bar. Okay, and then you need to type environment. Okay, so if you type environment, it will show you that environment variable system properties. So that we need to search it out. So this one, how you can open, you can go to your uh, search option and then type environment. Then you will get like this one. And in that advanced tab, we have that environment variable. So uh, this one we need, I will explain you once it will get installed. So there we need to add some variable path. Okay, and one more thing where it's going to install. We already saw it. Now I will show you one more time where it's going to install. So it will go to C drive. So it will come to C drive program files. Okay, and right now it's going to install MongoDB. So see here now folders are getting created and server and 6.0 then bin this path we need to copy okay meanwhile it's getting installed it will take some time so this path we need to uh, make it copy okay once that folder is getting created we need to copy this one and then we're going to use it now and you can see that once it will install it will show like this one that it's got installed i will do that this one finish and now you can see it's getting installed with by default this server. If you click on that connect, it will connect that we can see later. So now this path, we can copy it out. Okay. And now we'll go to environment variables. Click on this. Then in this one, in this path, we need to click on that edit. See for me, it's already added. Okay. Because I installed previously and then I uninstall it. But what you can do, you can click on that new and you can paste that path here, whatever we copied and press OK. OK, in this way, we have to add that path. So once we'll add that path, 
next thing is that now we need to open command prompt okay so you just go and type command from cmd so once you will see it here now we need to type that mongo mongo d iphone iphone version okay so mongo d is not mongo d it's saying mongo d is not a command so i think it's having some mongo mongo okay so a spelling mistake is there due to which it's showing that issue mongo d version okay so if you see that version then it's mean it's installed successfully okay and if you type now mongo d only okay then it will show that our server is up and running or not okay so since now it's not came back so uh, it's fine it's uh, if it's coming back and it's throwing that on cursor of something then basically what we need to do we need to create one new folder okay and that folder will be in c drive okay c drive data and then db this folder we need to create okay if it's throwing any error here then we need to go and create it so suppose if here we need to create one more db if it's not created automatically then we need to do it in this way you can see that uh, mongodb is create uh, successfully installed in your server or not okay i hope you like this video uh, if you have any question please let me know thank you